with Reaction. Fox News contributor Jason Chaffetz and the host of the Tudor Dixon podcast. Tudor Dixon is with us. All right, Jason, I'm going to give you first crack at this. Um, I sense that a lot of Democrats, very privately, they want somebody else, but they don't want RFK Jr. You know, that's why I'm paying attention to Gavin Newsom as closely as I am, because I think there's, that he is probably their first choice. Am I wrong? Uh, I think Gavin Newsom uh, thinks himself is probably the first choice. Uh, I would agree, <laughs> disagree with you there. That's uh, probably I, I true. I think there are... I, I think there are millions of what I call Kennedy Democrats. I, I think of them like Reagan uh, Democrats. These are people that actually believe in the First Amendment. They believe in the Fourth Amendment. They believe in fiscal responsibility, and they believe in the Constitution. They also believe in a strong national defense. That's why when Robert Kennedy Jr. starts talking, a lot of conservatives and liberal-leaning Republicans say, yeah, he's got a good point. He kind of sounds like us. And he found a home talking to people like Thomas Massey. And only in Washington, D.C. can you have a hearing about censorship and the Democrats try to censor him. But there is no room for that traditional liberal Democrat in today's progressive Democratic Party. It's just like Bernie Sanders predicted. Joe Biden is the most progressive president we've ever had. And there are literally about 30 percent of that Democratic base they don't want anything to do with Joe Biden and the progressives. They need to find a home. That's an opportunity for Republicans. You know, Tudor, when I, when I do this town hall with him, unlike these, these other networks that think the host's role is to debate the candidate, I'm not running for president. Uh, I know he has controversial views, but I want to listen to what they are. I want to hear him out. Uh, I, I believe the audience is smart enough and sophisticated enough that they, they can determine on their own uh, whether they agree with him, disagree with him, believe him, don't believe him. I mean, I, I have a hard time understanding why people are even unwilling to hear another point of view. I'm not unwilling to hear other points of view. That's the most interesting part about that to me, because this guy's a Democrat. He really is. So I want to know what all of his views are. I want to understand when he comes from that party, what are the par parts of his platform that identify with the Democrats? But the establishment Democrats have decided he is not the one. Now we're seeing something new. We've seen this on our side. We've seen them attack our candidates. We've seen them try to destroy our presidential candidates and even our presidents as they're in office. But now they're going after one of their own. So I'm very curious how this is going to play with the entire base of the Democrat Party, because we've been hearing over and over and over again people saying, well, this is not Kennedy's Democrat Party anymore. This is a Kennedy, and they're trying to silence him. So what does this do to their base? Is there a certain faction of them that say, OK, well, wait a minute. I was OK with this when it was Republicans, but you can't silence our candidates, too. All right. Who will be, exit question, uh, Jason, I'll start with you. Who will be the Democratic Party's nominee in November 2024? I, it won't be Joe Biden. It won't be Kamala Harris. I think they'll both be, at least Joe Biden will not be a candidate by the end of this calendar year. Uh, my guess is it's Gavin Newsom. And my wild card out there, potentially as a vice president, is Susan Rice. It's Obama loves her. And that's my wild card. Nobody's talking about her except me. All right, but I think I, she might be in the mix. Tudor, what's your take? Well, I agree that Gavin Newsom wants to be that, but I will tell you that someone else wants it really bad, and that is Gretchen Whitmer. She is out there every single day saying how wonderful she is, getting more and more attention, more puff pieces in every news magazine you can possibly imagine. So I think that she thinks she's going to get it. It'll be interesting to see if that Democrat Party splits and there is a chance for RFK Jr., but it's going to be tough. All right. Very interesting guesses on both your sides. So uh, great job.